So as we move from having Elaine as our pastor and moving to having, having Laura as our pastor, let's, let's imbibe just one more time at least of, of one of the great gifts that many p people mentioned that Elaine gave to us, and that was the homework uh, that she would give to us at the end of her sermons. And so here's some homework for us. One of the things that I think we should all do this week is go back and read our welcome statement again. And when we look at that welcome statement and we feel grieved in particular over some aspect of that, when we think about the domination of people's lives, the oppression, the weight that is upon them because of their gender or their gender identity or their sexual orientation or uh, because they're, uh, they're, they're the color of their skin or because of how old they are, because of they've been in the, in the, in the prison industrial complex or whatever it is. When we see that and our heart is, is grieved because of one of those things, right? Then when you write that down, put it in a journal. What is it that you name? And then as a second step, what is it that you need to repent of that, that keeps you from, from being in the world and helping those people find rest for their weary lives? And then, you know, finally, wisdom, lady wisdom is known by her deeds. Her justice is known by her deeds. So when you've thought about what, it, what grieves you about the world and what you need to repent of, what's the thing that you can do now to get engaged in the work of justice and loving our neighbor as ourselves for people who are being discriminated against because of one of those things. Because none of us can do work for justice and truly love our neighbor as ourselves for all those people. But as a church, all of us can live into a calling to do that, to serve justice and love for every person who is named in that welcome statement and help them know that this is a place that they can find rest. Now, from the God who created the world and on the seventh day found rest, who sent Jesus into the world, who invited people to come and find rest, who has given us the Holy Spirit that we might find strength in the middle of this journey. May God be with us as we find rest in our own weariness and renewed strength so that we can be salt and light, that the good deeds that we do in the world might be seen by other human beings and they might glorify God who is in heaven.